Starting tonight, the American in Horseshoe Falls will shine brighter than they ever have before, thanks to a major investment by the Niagara Falls Illumination Board. Tonight, we are starting a new era, and that is because we're in a new era. We have LED technology today that we didn't have before. For the last 20 years, we've had what was at the time state-of-the-art, but now we are moving forward into state-of-the-art technology again with LEDs. We're going to drop our consumption way down, and we're going to have the brightest lights that we can put on these falls, two times plus what the illumination was before. Now, who are the partners that helped make this project happen? Well, we have this Illumination Board, which is a binational organization, which is made up of Ontario, uh, the Niagara Parks Ontario, Parks New York, as well as the two city governments of Niagara Falls, the, in the power generation OPG here in uh, Ontario as well. And soon we'll be adding another partner, New York Power Authority will be coming on board, and they were one of the major funders for the U.S. side funding to this project as well. Now, why was this investment needed? It's important because we didn't have enough illumination on the falls. That became very evident in 2012 when we had the Walenda event here. And it was very obvious that we there was new technologies available and we really needed to boost up the lighting so that we could get a much better illumination of the falls and better range of colors on the falls as well. Ed, what are the major benefits of the new LED lighting? That's a great question. There are a lot of uh, takeaways here uh, from a project of this magnitude and a differential from where we came to where we are. The biggest takeaway for the public when they come to see Niagara Falls, I think, is that they're going to experience the falls in a way they've never seen them before at nighttime. We illuminated them before, uh, equivalent to holding a candle in front of them, and then now with the intensity of light that we're going to have, you're going to actually feel like you're seeing the water droplets fall over the falls, right? Second is, is the coloring. The coloring is intense, it's bright, it's going to be a variation that nobody's ever seen before on the falls, and then it's the movement of color. It's, it's not a, a colored spot that's going to change in the same spot, it's going to be movement of color across the falls, horizontally, vertically, and in different patterns according to programming. Janice, what events do you have planned for tonight? Well, this evening we have some live entertainment going on outside here at Queen Victoria Park. We have uh, the big lighting ceremony that's going to start just after 6 o'clock tonight. And before that, you'll hear some magnificent drumming by two local high schools that are going to be here uh, anticipating and building that excitement for us before the, the new illumination is turned on. Does the NPC plan on creating new events or attractions to complement the improved lighting for the falls? I think the parks already has a lot of activities that go on every day throughout the entire year. It's definitely a four-season destination, Niagara. And uh, there's really nothing we could do that could outshine this wonderful experience of lighting the falls. So you'll see we'll, we'll continue to have events at Grandview Marketplace, at Table Rock, here at Queen Victoria Place, lots of winter celebrations. And we look forward to introducing these new lights to everyone. Now, with the enhancement of the lighting, what does this mean for the future of Niagara Falls? Well, it's going to be great because number one reason anybody comes here is to see the falls, hands down. And if you can enhance their experience by having brighter, cooler, funkier lights, or if you can encourage them to stay overnight, and the way to do that is to have events at nighttime. Lighting up the falls at nighttime is a great excuse for people to stay overnight. And we know that if you can encourage people to stay overnight, they're going to spend a lot more money. It's going to be, have a huge uh, impact on the destination for economic development. What does this mean for the future of the falls illumination? I think the future is very bright. <laughs> Pardon the pun, but really I think that is important. We have visitors coming here from all over the world, both sides of the river here. They come in all hours of the day and the evening, and they want to get down to the falls right of the way. Having the falls lit every evening like we do, having it lit to the level we will now, it means everything to these people. The falls dazzle under these new lights. People will see it's, it's quite a remarkable difference. Thousands came out and braved the cold weather tonight to witness history as the 100 panels of LED lights begin a new era of illuminating the American and Horseshoe Falls. Reporting for The Source, I'm Nora Jean Howard.